Hey Aquarius, this is Chronic Joy Tarot and we're going to do your July 2018 reading for Aquarius Sun, Moon, or Rising um, or anyone who's drawn to this channel. That's also the correct guidance for you. Um, if you're new to my channel, welcome and thank you. And if you're returning, thank you and thank you. Thanks for being back. We're going to um, read one oracle card from the Earth Magic deck by Stephen Farmer and then proceed with some, you know, expand on the topic with the Zentero deck here. Um, whoops, that one goes first. I'm going to do my little tree spread here and we will see what the guidance has in store for us. Okay. These cards have been shuffled and cleared off camera, and um, now we're ready to start the reading. Let's go. If you guys are um, cross-watching or, or not the sign of Aquarius, then just know it, it's fine. That you know these these energies that I bring in while I'm shuffling are that of Aquarians. However right? We're, none of us is exactly one thing. And you may have Aquarius in your chart. You may be trying to understand that energy better, or you may have seen the video and just gotten curious just because of the Oracle that showed up, which could apply to anyone, right? At any given time. Um, this doesn't have to be seen just in July, right? Um, it's just easier to organize it that way on the channel. But you know, energy is just always flowing and ever moving. So what we have here for you guys is the volcano energy, that of volatility. This signifies sudden changes, shakeups, eruptions. Um, you know, um, sometimes unexpected and dramatic changes and sometimes you're of your own doing right? Changes that you are applying and just saying, okay, that's enough. Time to shift directions, right? Um, you know, things might get shaken up in your life or they might have already, or they, um, you know, may in the future. And if so, then this guidance will apply. You know, what you formerly thought of as the foundations of your security may be changing. They may be shifting, you might want to reassess um, your life direction, your relationships, um, you know, the work you've chosen, whatever it is that you're feeling, um, you know, that you're experiencing as movement and shifting that, that this reading is going to be for you, okay? So the starting point here for you where we, in relationship to this volatility, is the card of understanding. So the doves are flying. They are the one, this one dove here on this side of these bars is feeling very separate from the others. But what you notice is that if you look closer, the bars are actually an illusion and they're fading away. So staying open um, instead of a, a, a constricted sort of protected space which as humans, we, if, you know, if you've been hurt, the first thing you're going to do is protect your heart, right? Well, or if you um, maybe know somebody that just opposes you in general, that just seems like they're not living the way they need to, or um, they're not living the way you would choose to live. I don't know if it's your children or, you know, other family members, or even just, uh, you know, a group of people maybe that you don't even, like in the political arena, the us versus them, that whole scene, right? There is very, very little separating us. And it's really kind of an illusion that there is separation. So um, when others show behaviors or um, attitudes or perceptions that are different from what you would choose, that's just showing you another another side of it and you know sort of sometimes it feels like the dark side <laughs> and sometimes it's just um, giving you awareness that your way is for you and that might be right but that's not the only way and it's okay right 
in the case of such a volatile change that may be occurring or that you might want to um, exact upon your life, um, just know, you know, there's no real separation between you and other, okay? Within you, internally, you might be feeling like, um, you know, where do I begin, right? Where If this change is happening and everything's stripped down and we have um, destruction all around and we're, we're back to square one, you might be feeling a little shaky. However, you know, that, that element of that, that notion that we have everything under control and, you know, when this shakeup happens, we're out of control, that, that whole sense of thinking we have control is actually an illusion, right? We're always kind of starting over. Every day we wake up, we're getting a new fresh chance to make new decisions and start along the path um, in a new direction. You always have that choice. And when life sort of um, suddenly shifts and changes and there's destruction and, and a, you know, maybe loss of um, connections or, or loss of a loved one or loss of a pet or whatever, those sudden changes and stripping it down to the raw, um, you know, space that, that we all are underneath, those are happening for us. That's, a, that's almost a, a gift for us to learn to step down a new direction and rebuild, you know, go down a new road. So this is an internal position. So it might feel that within you, your spirit feels a little uncertain. What do I do next, right? Um, whether or not this big shift has happened, when that what do I do next energy comes, you can sort of, um, oh yeah, look at that. You can, you can learn to try to go with the flow and not overthink, over battle. You know, this is a mind card. It's a cloud card that rules the mind. So um, I like this. So I'm going to say for some of you, big changes have happened or they're about to happen, either by your own doing or just by timing of life. And you are left with this internal feeling of, I don't know what to do next. What I want you to do is resist the urge to overthink, right? Resist the urge to let those contradicting um, thoughts and ideas and worries cloud your head, right? Get yourself to a centered space knowing that um, wherever I stand in this life, first of all, I'm never alone. And I, you know, I can proceed from this centered, sort of grounded space and um, stay open and connected to, uh, you know, receptive to what is coming next, what, is, what my next choices are, right? If you, if a sudden change happens and this volcano erupts and you're, you're sitting among the rubble, the thing to do is, to, is not to um, cower down and, you know, just crouch down under the boulders. And it's also not to, the thing to do is not to bust through and try to fight your way through and break through. The thing to do is to rest in knowing that the next thing will come along. The next signal from the universe, from spirit will come to you. And if you stay open, I'm willing to receive, you know, the next um, guidance from God from my angels, from my guides, whatever the label is that you put upon spirit or source, I'm willing to receive the next possibility. And then, and then, you know, allow it to come. The destruction happens, you know, when fires happen and the lands, the landscape burns down, it's time for renewal. It's time for renewal, right? Careful of patterns in your life. So this card signifies how to move forward from the rubble. And this is warning you to not repeat um, those patterns that don't serve you any longer. 
if they are um, habits and patterns that have always, you know, helped, then uh, absolutely. But just be be aware of um, patterns that, that hold you stagnant, that keep you from progressing, right? Maybe it's, um, you know, I'm looking for I'm looking for a new work. I'm I'm changing jobs. This is the volatility we're talking of. I'm quitting my job. I'm getting a new job, but you go into the same job, basically the same situation you had before that was frustrating you to the point of needing to erupt and move on from it, right? Don't go back into the same um field or you know, with the same type of um manager, you know, someone who's overbearing or whatever. Do you know what I mean? careful of the patterns and be aware of them and be willing to try new try new things like this full card represents be willing to start fresh in a totally new direction okay oh yeah look at that trust in life just trust because life is coming for you it's things are coming at you in order for you to determine you know, what you will engage with and what you will leave behind. It's all choice. And if you trust that, um, you know, first of all, trust your decision-making power, right? And how to respond to things, especially if you've had a big volcano, a big eruption, and there's rubble all around you. Trust that you can, you know, sort of dust off your knees and pick it up and, and find the new road. You can trust that. Um, stay aware internally of your need to, um, of those little, those internal wishes that things need to turn out a certain way or you won't be happy, right? This, this no thingness card guides you not to attach to anything, right? And that's kind of the same fool energy. Just start fresh. I don't know what's coming up. I have no idea. This guy's like, hey, I don't know if I take my next step if I'm going to go tumbling down the cliff. But guess what? I'm going to try it. I'm going to trust it. I'm going to trust life just like this figure flying through the air. Who knows what's coming next? You know, she's flying in the blue sky and the pink one's down below her, but she's going to go experience it because she trusts it. She's going to soar. These energies internally are signifying that there may be a little bit of shakiness within you, especially if after a big change and a big, big shift in your life, of course, you're going to feel a little uncertain. But the practice is to trust, know you're not alone, take a chance to, to break patterns. That's the practice to, you know, stay open this um, state of being, of, you know, being able to accept whatever comes, that's a, that's, a, that's a very enlightened state to be in. And this is what you're working toward, right? No one says that we have to master it in the first moment. But when you have those feelings within, recognize them and, um, you know, sort of nurture them. The, those feelings of uncertainty of what do I do next? I don't know. I'm a little frightened. I'm a little unsure. That's okay. You know, recognize that, nurture that, um, you know, give yourself love as far as knowing, you know, you'll recognize the next step when it comes. Okay. These two cards are also both major arcana. So that means that internally you've got some powerful shifts happening within your spirit. Those are, you know, it's great because you're you're getting ready to strip it down or you have already had to strip it down out of maybe no choice of your own or you're ready to make changes on your own. But and but these changes are starting within, right? And then in your external world, make sure you stay focused on every moment present in this moment and then this moment, right? Very present, like these acrobats are flying through the air if one of them misses or thinks about oh you know what time do I have to pick up you know my daughter today they're all gonna go flying down you stay stay focused in this very moment stay in the zone in your daily life okay especially if there's rubble all around you stay alert stay aware and be ready for that next sign 
of what to do, what how to proceed. Okay. In your so in your outcome position here, I have two cards. Okay, so I yeah, they're both mind cards. I love this. So we want you to shed those needs for comparison. So this journey that you're on, maybe you've you've come upon sudden change and shifting. This is unique to you, right? There is no one right answer. Nobody's going to have the right answer except for you, right? And that comes from within. That comes from establishing that sense of trust in um, source, in spirit. And so just like these trees, you know, the oak and the bamboo, they're both trees, but no, they would never assume to need to be like the other, right? They, they stand on their own with their own strengths and their own power. And that's you right now, Aquarius. You have your own way of moving through this, this destruction or this change. All of it will result in the highest level of awareness. Look at that. Your intuition's going to guide you. You're reaching toward a new level of awareness, a higher consciousness constantly, right? Closer and closer to the enlightenment that the Buddha signifies. This is wonderful. Um, whether or not you have had big changes happen, maybe in your recent past or changes that you are going to impose in your life, um, this reading is just a good practice for any kind of a shift. You know, whether it's really dramatic, like the volcano erupting, and um, or whether it's just a, a small shift, right? Maybe in, within a relationship, you want to find a new way to... Um, respond when you're frustrated or whatever. This is all, you know, this guidance is kind of universal for anything that needs to shift and move and change. Okay. Okay, Aquarius, thank you guys for being with me. And I hope you enjoy your July summers, right? Uh, we're right in the thick of it here, at least in the Northern Hemisphere. And um, I love you guys. Okay, follow me on Instagram if you want some more. I know it's been like I've been promising to do many, many readings a week and on there, but I will. I promise they're coming. Just start following me and then as they come up, you'll be able to catch them. All right, you guys, I love you very much. Have a good one. Talk to you next time.